Hi, we're going to take you through the steps to descaling your gadget. With something like our baby gadget here, if you've got hard water and you're using your machine regularly, you may want to descale about every couple of months. If you've got a, an automatic bean to cup gadget machine, uh, you may find that it's got an indicator on it, a little flashing symbol which uh, reminds you to descale the machine. And the first step we're going to do is just take off the, the little shower plate from underneath here. Uh, now, if you've got a little Phillips screwdriver here, uh, just go into the screw in the middle of the shower plate, just like the uh, shower in your bathroom. I'm just going to uh, clean that through. Gets rid of any oils or grinds that may block those sort of fine sieve like holes. Now, the machine isn't on, so it's nice and cool at the moment. So uh, I'll just screw that back up there. Uh, right, so that's nice and clear on the, on the shower now. Now I'm going to turn the machine on. I'm going to fill up the, the tank with uh, some water. Fresh clean water there. Fill that tank up, pop that on there. And I'm going to purge through a little bit of water. Now to do that, we're going to use the, uh, the, the frother here, the steam wand. Uh, and I'm going to press the uh, brew button and the steam button together. And then open up the steam valve at the top. You see we just purge through a couple of cups worth of of water. There we go, turn that off there. And next we're going to add in the descaler into the tank. Uh, this is quite a harsh chemical. It's going to dissolve the minerals which could cause damage to our machine. It's got all the warnings and everything on the pack. Make sure you read the pack very carefully. Take the uh, lid off there. Just pop that into the tank. So we've got a full tank of water with the, uh, with the descaler in. Now we need to pull that through into all the, the parts in the machine, into the boiler in the machine. Uh, so what we're going to do there is just the same as we did before, draw through a couple of cups worth of, of water. There we go. Turn that off there. Now the, the descaler is drawn into our machine. We're going to leave it for about 15, 20 minutes to allow it to do its work. Doing that again and again until we drain the tank of all the descaling fluid and, and water in the back of the, the tank. Next stage really after that then is we need to make sure that we flush any of that chemical through. Refill the tank with fresh water. Now make sure I wash this tank nice and thoroughly to get rid of any remnants of the descaling fluid in there. There we go. And fill it again just with fresh clean water. There we go. So there we go. that's full now. Back onto the machine. And we go through this process now flushing about, about a couple of litres of water back through the machine just to get rid of all that descaling sort of fluid in there. Ordinarily, I keep doing that just with the fresh clean water really until I've, I've drained that full tank. When you're going back to making a, a cup of coffee, just purge a little bit of water through the group. So, to make sure we've got any remnants of the solution out of the areas we make our coffee. And it's not a bad idea for the next couple of coffees that you, you make, uh, just to discard them to start with 100% uh, great coffee after that.